Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to cut out vinyl using your Cricut and a font you have on your computer. I'm going to show you two ways, one way using Illustrator and one way using a non-Adobe product. So with Illustrator, I'm first going to create a canvas that is about 6 by 2 inches. Um, this is just a guess. It doesn't really matter because SVGs are scalable, so whatever you want. And then I'm creating a text box and I'm going to type in shampoo because I'm making a shampoo label. And then I'm going to change the font to my Memphis Park hand lettered font. And you can download this with the link in the description. And then I'm just going to resize it so everything fits nicely into this size. Once I'm happy with it, make sure it's selected and then go to type create outlines. You have to do this to save it to upload. And then if you zoom in, you'll notice with this font in particular that the letters are overlapping and you can tell by the blue outlines, but you need this to all be glued together so that it's all one piece. So to do this, I'm gonna select that and open my Pathfinder and then click the first button, which is Unite. This will just make sure that all these letters are glued together in one huge file that cannot come apart so then when you upload that to Cricut it's going to stay together as one except for the S because that one is actually not connected by the exit stem so that's an exception so now I'm going to go to file save as and then type in shampoo and make sure you have SVG selected from the drop down menu and then click OK after that I'm going to go to the design space on Cricut and then I'm going to grab a new project, click Upload, select Upload Image, hit Browse, grab that SVG that I just made called Shampoo.SVG, and then I'm going to click Save, click it, and then click Insert Image. So now it's there. And then you'll want to just resize it to the size you'll want to cut it out as. So now that I've showed you the Illustrator way, I'm going to hop in to show you how you can do it if you don't have an Adobe license or Illustrator on your computer. So grab your web browser and go to pixelart.com. Here you'll be able to create a transparent PNG with um, that font on your computer. So just click the text tool, type in the text you want to use. Grab the font you want to use. I'm going to look for my Memphis Park font again so that it's the same as the shampoo bottle label. And then I'm just going to change the size of the font to the biggest. So now that that's done, I'm going to click Save and I'm going to make sure I select the PNG format and then click OK. So that web site, Pixel R, is totally free. It's a little buggy, so just be aware but it worked for this purpose, so if you don't have Adobe, then that's a great way to do it. So back in the design Cricut space, I clicked upload, and I have a different screen here now. So I'm just going to select simple, because it's an image instead of an SVG, which is a vector. It has a little bit of a different process. So here, I don't have anything to erase, so I just hit continue. And then I made sure to click on save as a cut image. And now I'm going to upload it the same way I did the SVG. Reduce the size in the same way. And I think I had it at about two and a half inches. And then once I'm done, I'm just going to click on make it, which will bring me to the Cricut mat. And then from here, I'm going to make sure that my mat is loaded into my Cricut by pressing the arrow button. And then I'm going to make sure that my dial is set to vinyl. And then I'm going to go back into the design maker and just click on continue and let that print. Actually, I'm showing you the process of how I did it with the shampoo label because I did that one first. But they are identical once you have the images loaded into the design space. When you actually go to cut it, it's the exact same process. And I'm going to show you that even if it's a PNG or a vector, it's still going to come out looking the same. So this is what the shampoo one looks like once it was cut. And this is what they look like once they were applied. So 
the shampoo was the vector and the conditioner is the PNG we created using the free desktop web browser software um, and they're both pretty much the same the cut was just as good for both just want to mention I did use a permanent vinyl so that it could stick a little better because these bottles will go in the shower so it is the permanent vinyl um, and not the removable I hope that was helpful if you have any questions leave a comment below and give this video a like if you want to see more Cricut tutorials